Okay, in this video we're going to go over, uh, the goal is to do Venn diagrams and do kind of a different way of shading uh, than we're used to. Uh, but before doing that, I just want to go over, you know, the complement intersection union, all that stuff again with these, uh, with this example. And then we'll kind of use these examples with the Venn diagram. So uh, let's get started. So right now I have a universal set, which are the numbers 1 through 10. And then I got sets A, B, and C. Uh, a would be all the odd numbers, B would be the even numbers, and C just a couple random uh, numbers, 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9. So we'll start small. We'll try to find, let's do, how about B intersect, sorry, uh, B union, C. All right, so the way that we would do this is if you're doing a union, a union is any element that could be in B, could be in C, could be in both. We don't care as long as it's in one of these two sets. So B union C, well, every element of B is going to have to be in here. So let's just go and list all the elements in B. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And now that we're union in that with C, okay, any element that we haven't, that's going to be in C, write those down. If there's any repeats, uh, you just ignore those. So let's see, C, we have 1, uh, 2, there's 2, but notice we already have 2, so there's no reason to put it in again. We already have 4. All right, C has 5. We don't have 5 listed, so we'll put that down. Uh, we have 8. We already have 8 in here. Uh, 9. We do not have 9, so we'll add that. And there you go. So again, B union C. If it's in B, C, we don't really care as long as it's in one of them. Write those down. If there's any repeats, just ignore them. And that's B union C. Uh, so let's try another one. Okay, this one is uh, much more difficult than the previous example. Okay, so we still follow the rules that we learned from many other math class. If you have parentheses, order of operations, you do the parentheses first. So let's just come down here and we'll do B intersect C. We'll see what that gets us. Now the intersection would be anything that both B and C have in common. So if you come up to B and C, and you have to be careful, you want to make sure you don't miss any. All right, so we have, let's see, we have two, two's match. Let's see, four. All right, B has a six. C does not, so don't include 6. B has an 8, so does C. Uh, B has a 10. C does not, so that would be it. The easiest way of finding the intersection would just be to go through all of B and see which ones uh, C also has. So B had 2, so does C. B has 4, so does C. B has 6, C does not, so it can't be in the intersection. So there's B union C, and then let me write down A. All right, so A was all the odd numbers. Okay, so then let's go over here. Since we're taking A and we're unioning that with B intersect C, all we're going to do is we're going to add these two sets together. All right, so take everything in A. A's first. We might as well just list it. So those are all the odd numbers. And then union that with B intersect C. So go through this list. Anything that's in here that we haven't already listed, we'll write those down. So 2, 4, and 8. In fact, we don't actually have 2, 4, and 8 in here at all. So all three of them get listed. Okay, so that's that example. Uh, let's try one more before going on to the Venn diagrams. Okay, in this example, we have A union B complement intersect with C complement. So this is, well, probably a little bit more difficult than the previous example, but we still go through the same, same steps. So the first thing is let's figure out what A union B is. It's in parentheses. We'll do that first. So A union B... So that's everything in A and B. Well, I'm sorry, everything in A or B. Uh, so let's list all the things that are in A. In fact, 
A union B, notice that A is all the odds, B are all the evens, which means A union B would just be all the numbers 1 through 10. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So then what is A intersect, I'm sorry, A union B complement? So that would be everything in the universal set that's not in this union. But notice that if you go up to the universal set, that's 1 through 10, A union B is 1 through 10, which means that A union B complement is the empty set. Remember, you might see it written like this, or you might see it written like that. Now, we can actually skip the rest. If you notice that A union B complement is the empty set, you're going to intersect that with some other set. I really don't care what this other set is. If you're intersecting it, then the only thing that this can be, the only, let me start over. The only thing that this can be is the empty set, because if you're going to intersect a set, with the empty set, it's going to be the empty set. But let's just see what happens. All right, so what is C complement? Well, here's C, and it's going to be any of the numbers 1 through 10 that aren't in C. So that would be 3, 6, 7, and 10. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to take A union B complement, that's the empty set, and we're going to intersect that with 3, 6, 7, 10. It might actually be easier if we look at it like this. So what do these two sets, and sets have in common? And they have nothing in common. So this is going to equal the empty set. Okay, so maybe um, hopefully that helps. Actually, since we're at about seven and a half minutes, I may actually just stop this, call this part one, and then we'll do some Venn diagrams in part two. So I guess if maybe we got time for one more. Okay, in this example, uh, we have in parentheses a complement intersects C. And then we're going to take the complement of that set, and we're going to union that with B. So let's start with the parentheses. In fact, actually, we're not going to do this, but if you're familiar with De Morgan's Law, okay, you can distribute this complement, and it would actually turn out to be A union C complement, which is a little easier to, to work with. But uh, we're just, uh, if you didn't see that rule, uh, we'll do it. Uh, the other way. So we'll just do this straightforward. So A complement. So let's see what A complement is first. So A complement would be if A was all the were all the odd numbers, then A complement would be two, four, six, eight, and ten. And we're going to intersect that with C. So A complement intersects C. So anything that A complement has in common with C, well, let's see, um, looks like 2, 4, and 8. All right, so 2, 4, and 8, those are the only things C and A complement have in common. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this set, So A complement uh, intersects C, and then we're going to complement that. Okay, so we got to complement that first. So that's everything in the universal set that's not in 2, 4, and 8. So that would be 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 10. So almost done. So final, we have A complement intersect C complement union B. 
So it's going to be this entire set right here, and you're going to add in elements of B that I actually ha that I haven't already listed from over here. So that's going to be one, three, five, six, seven, nine, and ten. That's from this part right here. And then you're going to union that with B. B was all, or they were all the even numbers. So let's add in all the even numbers that I haven't added in already. So that would be 2, 4, 6 we already have, and 8, 10 we already have. So what is that? Is that, is that the universal set? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, so it looks like it's the universal set. Um, but that doesn't matter. I mean, if you want, you can write this equals u. But you don't have to. All right, so that's part one. And then in part two, we're going to start the Venn diagrams uh, doing the shadings. But I'm going to do it in a little bit different way than you're probably used to. And if it helps, great. Otherwise, you can do it the normal way, which I'll also show you.